so today we are going to discuss transit cap transit cap if transit ketu aspects any planet then what will happen first let us check the karakatva of ketu ketu is actually ketu is separation detachment divorce and litigation so these are the some special qualities ketu detaches you from your family members so it may be father it may be mother it may be wife may be sibling it may be elder brother or younger brother or sisters and it may detach you with your work from your work so whenever saturn whenever ketu aspects a particular planet so the native will be detached from that uh, particular uh, significations of the planet for example let us take sun sun is father so whenever transiting ketu aspect natal sun father will go on pilgrimage because here ketu is spirituality ketu is pilgrimage so ketu gives the opportunity to go on a pilgrimage and spiritual activities the father will start conducting spiritual uh, activities for example satsanga with a guru satsanga with a guru and he will start conducting some uh, satsanga or some havana or uh, you see he will start uh, doing japa and he will start doing pranayama asana so like this he will shift over to spirituality from his uh, uh, daily life mundane life so these one and a half year he will be always spiritual and when it comes to sun is government the native will get orders from the government when it comes to father suppose in our horoscope in the in the horoscope of the natu jata sun is conjoined with ketu sun is conjoined with ketu in the horoscope so natal sun and natal ketu they are connected in the natal chart sun is connected to ketu so whenever transit ketu aspects natal sun and natal ketu the natu will have discourse with his father or separation with the father so you see some people take some property from the father and they will be separated from the parents and they will lead their own life so like this this type of separation when sun and ketu are together in the horoscope definitely father and son will be separately live they will not live together so it doesn't mean that they don't have love and affection they will have but they are independent father is independent he will give his share uh, share of uh, uh, to his, his children he will give some part of his property as a share to his children and he will live by himself he will he will not depend on his children in the similar way the children also here the male progeny son is male progeny the male progeny also will be separated from his father and he will be independent and he will lead his own life independently so this will happen when when ketu transit ketu aspects natal saturn and natal two at a time in the similar way sun will get blessings from god atma sakshatkar or good for politician this is a very good combination sun and ketu are together if ketu is aspecting sun and ketu so it will be good for father whenever ketu aspects sun so it will be good for politician if the natu is a politician that is a good combination sun and ketu royal favor so the natu will get royal favor if ketu aspects 
son and Ketu. And sometimes there will be disputes with the politicians or even with the government, there may be some disturbances. In the similar way, if transit Ketu aspects natal moon. Sir, here can I ask you? Yeah. Yes. Sir, this is uh, same for male progeny and female progeny? Yes, yes. You are okay. Not female progeny. We are talking about sun here. Sun Ketu, sir. Suppose uh, in a uh, daughter's yes. horoscope, suppose uh, let us say it, it has sun, sun and Ketu. Sun and Ketu, sub, in sun a female Ketu. horoscope. No, here actually sun is father for male mm -hmm. or female. Correct, sir. That's, that's what I'm asking. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So generally, in female horoscope, definitely it will be connected somewhere because they will give the... Uh, if they take any property from their parents, then definitely it will be connected. Suppose Sun and Ketu are not connected, so they will have good uh, relation with the parents. Hmm. Suppose uh, Ketu is connected to Sun and uh, Moon is not connected to Ketu, so the NATO will have good relation with mother and bad relation with father. Mm. So like, so this is both for male and female. Okay. And when it comes to natal moon, if transit Ketu aspects in natal moon, mother will turn to be spiritual. So mother will start doing japa and uh, or uh, doing uh, conducting some havana and conducting satsanga with gurus and she will go to uh, go alien uh, go she will go she will also go on pilgrimage to like a haridwar and she will also have a dip in the uh, this uh, sacred river like a ganges so like this ganga so the natu the natu's mother will become spiritual during that time so this one and a half year, whenever Ketu is aspecting natal moon, she will always start uh, conducting all these uh, spiritual activities. And maybe mother may get ill health also. And the Neto will also always have divine contemplation. Always he, con he will be con contemplating divinity and all these things. And the Neto may have misunderstanding with mother, moon and Ketu. So here, the NATO will have disputes or misunderstanding with mother because if in the natal horoscope, moon and Ketu are together, this will happen. And mother will go on pilgrimage. Even the NATO also, moon and Ketu are together, the NATO also go on pilgrimage. Not only mother, so moon, here moon and Ketu are together and Ketu is aspecting moon and Ketu going on pilgrimage obstacles to foreign travel moon and ketu moon and rock so suppose ketu is aspecting moon and ketu moon is a planet of obstacle so that's why definitely it will give obstacles to the natu for uh, going abroad so foreign travel so here there will be obstacles to foreign travel suppose at the same time jupiter aspects this dosha will be warded off transit Jupiter aspects, then the native will go. So at the bow, at the same time, Jupiter and Ketu, both aspects, this combination Moon Ketu or Moon Rahu, definitely the native will go abroad. And when it comes to Mars, so here we are talking about a detachment with our family members and at the same time ill health and spirituality. So here we are concentrating three areas. One is spirituality and the Neto oh, mother or father will become spiritual if Ketu aspects son, father and if uh, Ketu aspects moon, mother will become spiritual. Now, the third one here, Mars, natal Mars. Mars is actually, what are the Karkatwas? Mars is husband. Mars is siblings, brothers. So here, Mars and Ketu are together in the horoscope, for example. Mars and Ketu are conjoined in the horoscope, natal horoscope. Whenever transit, Ketu is aspecting 
natal marsh and natal ketu that time the female na native may have disputes with uh, her husband and suppose marsh and ketu are uh, having the aspect of jupiter natal jupiter uh, in the horoscope then there will be only disputes otherwise marsh and ketu are together then the native may get a divorce or separation with her husband so here ketu is detaching you from your family members if it is marsh you will be detached from your siblings so if it is a female horoscope the female native will be detached from her husband so the native the female native will get separation or a divorce with her husband so we have to check mars and ketu are together in the horoscope that is we have to check and misunderstandings may be with brother or misunderstandings may be with husband and here nervous debility to brother here mars is brother and ketu is a nervous problem so the native may get nervous problem and even brothers or husband will become spiritual they will also start meditating and they are, they will also start doing japa and they will they will start uh, what is it called uh, conducting satsanga with guru uh, at his place or he will meet uh, a guru and take some mantra as upadesha so these things generally happen if ketu aspects mars if transit ketu aspects natal mars so here we are talking about detachment here we are talking about uh, spirituality and here we are talking about health issues these three are common for every planet whenever ketu aspects transit ketu aspects if transit ketu aspects natal mercury the native will get skin diseases because mercury is skin skin diseases and mercury is intellect so intellect will be marred if uh, if mercury is afflicted by transit ketu or transit rahu also the native's intellect will be marred that means the native will not be able to take proper decisions so that the native may get losses incur losses in his business or in whatever uh, effort or endeavor he puts so there will be poor memory the native will get poor memory at this time he will not remember anything whenever transit ketu aspect natal mercury and land litigation so here mercury should be with ketu in the natal chart because mercury is land and ketu is litigation so whenever ketu aspects mercury ketu then the native will get land litigation and education disturbance and education disturbance so here mercury is education and ketu is air disturbance so for example ketu is break for example transit ketu is aspecting mercury ketu in the horse and mercury is education ketu is break so whenever ketu aspects mercury ketu the native will get educational breaks and uh, failure to love affair mercury ketu that is love affair so whenever ketu aspects mercury ketu the native will have misunderstanding with his boyfriend or girlfriend or friend or business partner so the native will have disputes with his friends and business partners lover or girlfriend or boyfriend whoever and when it comes to occult sciences mercury ketu is occult sciences mercury ketu whenever ketu aspects mercury ketu the native will get this vedic knowledge the native will start learning occult sciences because ketu gives the knowledge of vedas so that's why the knowledge of occultism so that's why mercury is education planet the native will get education regarding vedic vedic knowledge so 
in the similar way if mer ketu aspects transit ketu aspects natal jupiter jupiter is the gv so that's why this is the turn of the jupiter to become spiritual so the native will turn into spirituality he will uh, he will turn uh, turn into his spiritual and uh, due to various problems in life and there will be ill health or the native will meet sadgurus and the native will take bath in sacred rivers and uh, there will be careless attitude towards uh, this mundane life and the native always thinking uh, always will be thinking renunciation is one of here and uh, always he renounces he will renounce certain things sacrifice certain things and suffering nervous debility and the native will meet pious people pious gurus and the native will take mantra upadesha from gurus and the native will do sadhana of certain particular god or goddess so this happens when ketu is aspecting jupiter when transit ketu aspects natal jupiter the native the native will meet sadgurus and he will become spiritual and he will conduct uh, satsanga with guru those one and of year so like this the native will be spiritual and when it comes to venus venus is wife venus is money venus is house venus is vehicle these are the qualities generally and ketu is what ketu is a detachment and separation ketu is a litigation uh, ketu is uh, here uh, uh, detachment so that's why you see whenever transit ketu aspects natal venus so there will be ill health to wife or sister so here venus is wife or sister or even daughter and daughter in law also so in the similar way there will be financial litigation but when if natal saturn is conjoined with natal ketu then only this these things will happen whenever ketu transit ketu aspects natal venus and the natal ketu there will be financial litigation or there will be separation or divorce with wife so we can predict divorce or separation for a female whenever transit when, when transit ketu aspects natal venus and ketu natal ketu then divorce will take place separation will take place disputes at home suppose venus is not with ketu but only transit ketu is aspecting only natal venus then what will happen then also there will be disputes at home with the wife or with uh, uh, children like uh, female uh, here uh, daughters or daughter in law and the prospect of acquiring a beautiful vehicle or four wheeler so suppose if they have padma yoga when ketu aspects venus the native will get prospect of acquiring a beautiful vehicle or four wheeler and prospect of being enmeshed in the billy web of a scheming women venus ketu are together generally these people may be trapped by other women also venus ketu trapped by other women so like this the native the native will suffer uh, uh, regarding his uh, family affairs because venus is wife venus is uh, uh, female children so venus is finance venus is house so in his uh, mundane life generally whenever transit ketu aspects natal venus the native will suffer a lot and when it comes to saturn saturn kargatva is what saturn is actually elder brother when it comes to family members saturn is also father's sibling so chacha or so uncles so saturn actually karma karaka work dodi plan so when it comes to ketu ketu and saturn combination there will be termination or resignation so these are the qualities generally so whenever transit ketu aspects natal saturn it may be vice versa suppose transit saturn when we were discussing 
friends it's adam also uh, i told you this is the same thing if transit saturn aspects natal ketu so saturn is here karma and ketu is bandhana so karma will be closed so that means the native will become once again jobless and uh, he will have to uh, he will have to be without the job so he will have to take leave from the office or he may be terminated or he will have to resign so whenever transit ketu aspects natal saturn there will be no professional stability and then the netu may resign or he may be terminated or he will have to take leave from the office and certain times uh, and at certain times the netu may be vexed with the job uh, so he will uh, think of quitting the job he will think of quitting the job so resigning his job so there will be no aim or ambition and there will be obstructions in profession for no reason at all there will be no reason but there will be obstruction and the difficulties in his profession dispute and harassment by superior officers so if both mars and ketu transit power saturn uh, which is uh, not conjoined with jupiter suppose mars and ketu are both here transit ketu is aspecting saturn and a transit mars is also aspecting saturn during that time suppose saturn is not with the help of jupiter or venus or mercury that means uh, friends if saturn is not strong suppose any planet is strong with its friends in second house 12000 and 7 that's why i have written there if saturn is not conjoined with jupiter venus mercury means so saturn is not strong saturn is weak so whenever saturn is weak in any horoscope in any horoscope saturn is weak so if transit ketu and simultaneously even transit mars also aspects weak saturn then the native will lose his job or the native will have legal proceedings the native may be arrested or the native may be imprisoned and there may be cbi acp it raids on their offices and there will be blames he may be blamed so like this the native will suffer due to these problems if mars ketu and moon transit over the second sign from where saturn is located in ketu's birth chart the same effect of losing his job will be to the native so here even second house also so saturn second house also if ketu is aspecting why we are talking about second house because ketu aspects anti clockwise so ketu aspects anti clockwise suppose in your horoscope saturn is for example now in virgo in your horoscope and now transiting ketu is where right now it is in libra so that's why whenever transit ketu comes in the second house of saturn that means saturn saturn is aspected by ketu so even then also so it will be three years then whenever ketu is coming towards saturn three years the native will suffer because ketu will give in the when whenever ketu is in the second house the native will get problem and whenever ketu is transiting over saturn another one and a half year the native will suffer so around three years if ketu touches saturn so the native will suffer not only one and a half year so these are two houses saturn second house and saturn house so because this is anti clockwise moving planet ketu is anti clockwise moving planet so in a female horoscope if it is a female horoscope for example mars and ketu are supposed to transit over saturn she will have enmity harassment outside at workplace and in her household so here mars and ketu are at the time aspecting saturn saturn is karma karaka so whatever karma she does generally she suppose she is a work governing woman she will suffer a lot outside at workplace 
she will have corruption in her husband. Simultaneously, she will also face some problem at home also. Because Mars, Mars and Ketu both are here aspecting here Saturn. Saturn is karma. So she is one of the, uh, her karma is also, she is a family member, she has to do certain things. She has to satisfy certain people in the house. So that's why there will be disturbance in her work at home also. She will have harassment from her husband. If transit moon conjoined with transit Mars and transit Ketu, all planets, transit Ketu, transit Mars, transit moon, so moon is only one of day. So we have to check whenever Ketu is with Mars, whenever Ketu, Mars and moon are together and at a time, these three planets are aspecting natal Saturn. The female nature will get blamed and abused, abused by people. People around. So she will be blamed even the people around, around her. So like this, if transit K2 aspects Saturn, the NATO will lose his job. So now I will ask you one question. You tell me, when will the NATO get job? Suppose somebody is asking, when will I get job? Then what we should see? Trans, Saturn should aspect trans, Venus. Trans, yes, transit Saturn should aspect Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter. is the NATO. Okay. So for female, so it may be Venus. Okay, for female it may be Venus, but male Jupiter. Whenever transit certain aspects, Jupiter, Jupiter is the NATO, the NATO will get the fruits of working. So actually, Saturn gives the fruits of work. Who will do the work? The GV itself. That's why whenever transit certain aspects, natal Jupiter the NATO will get the fruits of work, his, his work. So that means he will get a job. And suppose transit, Jupiter is aspecting natal Saturn also the same. Jupiter is here, the NATO, and the transit Jupiter is aspecting whom? Natal Saturn, Karma Karaka. So he will get Karma. So that means he will get job. So transit Saturn as I either transit Jupiter aspect natal Saturn or transit Saturn aspects natal Jupiter, then the NATO will get job. But when will the NATO lose his job? Whenever transit Saturn aspects natal Ketu or whenever transit Ketu aspects natal Saturn, the NATO will lose his job. Now understand, when will the NATO lose his job? Whenever transit Saturn aspects natal Ketu or transit Ketu vice versa, at when whenever transit Ketu aspects natal Saturn, then the NATO will lose his job. So Sir, in some cases, so Saturn and Ketu both will be there in natal chart. Then, yeah. then definitely the NATO will lose his job. Hmm. Otherwise, only Saturn is there. So the NATO may not lose his job, but he will, there will be change of his job. So it shows, Ketu also shows some change. Suppose Saturn and Jupiter are together. Mm -hmm. Good question. You have asked a very good question. Suppose in our horoscope, Saturn and Jupiter are together. So whenever Ketu aspects, uh, when, whenever uh, Jupiter aspects Saturn, Jupiter, uh, whenever Saturn aspects Saturn, Jupiter, the native will get promotion. But whenever transit Saturn aspects natal Saturn and natal Ketu, the native will lose his job. So Saturn Ketu, loss of job. Saturn, Jupiter, promotion. That is the difference. Even Ketu also. Whenever Ketu aspects uh, Saturn, Jupiter, so there will be change, change of job. And whenever Ketu aspects natal Saturn and Ketu, then the NATO will lose his job. That is, we have to check like this. So, 
Ketu transit, during that Ketu transit, if Ketu aspects son, there will be disputes with father or disputes with the government or whatever it may be. But at the same time, Jupiter, uh, Sun and Ketu are together in the horoscope. The Netu may get benefit also uh, from the government. In the similar way, there may be dispute also. Both, both will take place. And transit Ketu aspects moon, so there will be spiritual. The Netu mother will become spiritual. And suppose moon and Ketu are together in natal chart, then what will happen? There will be separation or there will be disputes with mother, with mother. And in the similar way, transit uh, transit Ketu aspects Mars. Suppose Mars is here, brothers. So there will be some arguments with the brother. But at the same time, Mars is with Ketu. If it is a female horoscope, the female Ketu will get a divorce. Suppose Ketu is not there. Only Ketu is aspecting Mars. There will be only differences of opinion and uh, uh, there will be some disturbances, but they won't be separated. There will be only fighting, but finally they will they will be together. There will be no problem. In the similar way, if transit Ketu aspects Mercury or Mercury Ketu, the NATO will have educational break. The NATO will have disputes with business partner. The NATO will have land litigation. If transit Ketu aspects Jupiter, the NATO will become spiritual. So he will conduct satsanga with Guru, he will meet Guru, he will take Upasana, some mantra from Guru, Mantra Padesha, and he will practice the mantra. So he will uh, have a dip in the sacred river like Ganga, so like this. And he will visit the temples, he will go on pilgrimage. So, in the similar way, if Ketu aspects Venus, Venus is here, uh, vehicle, house, and wife. So, there may be, suppose Venus and Ketu are together, the native may lose property and the native may have separation with wife. And Ketu is, for example, aspecting Saturn, the native may lose his job and the native may be terminated or he will have to resign. And he will have to take leave. He will become jobless during this period. So Ketu is aspecting on, for example, Rahu. Rahu is actually uh, abdominal disorders because Rahu is what? Rahu is large intestine. So there will be abdominal disorders, vomiting and loose motions, large intestine related problem, no growth in life. There may be ulcers. And here, paternal grandfather, Rahu is Dada Dadi. So they may have, they may be spiritual and uh, such things will happen. And when it comes to Ketu is on Ketu. Ketu is small intestine and so there will be stomach disorder again, small intestine and there will be hair falling. Ketu is hair and the nails related, nails may be broken and a dispute, disturbances at home. So, maternal grandfather and our grandmother uh, may turn spiritual. Okay. Now, I will ask you questions uh, you have to answer. Uh, suppose, when will the NATO, male NATO, get married? How can you predict? Sir, Venus. Jupiter should, uh, Jupiter should, transit Jupiter should aspect Venus. Yes. Tra if transit Jupiter aspects, natal venus in male horoscope the native will get married but you have to check one thing suppose venus is with ketu marriage may be delayed so that's why you have to check uh, in the third round of jupiter so we have not discussed with jupiter uh, jupiter round that's why you forget about it and we will discuss later so i'm just uh, giving an example so you sh there will be confusion if venus and ketu are together marriage may be late whether marriage will be late or not you have to check so that is you will learn in uh, jupiter rocks so suppose saturn and venus saturn is aspecting venus in male horoscope saturn means natal saturn natal saturn is aspecting natal venus 
so then their marriage may be delayed so you have to take all these things into consideration all these th things to account taking all these things in account you have to predict so delay of marriage may be there that's why whenever transit jupiter aspects don't predict that the marriage will take place it may be the marriage of sister of course if the nato has sister okay it may be the purchase of vehicle or house okay there may, there will be some auspicious uh, uh, things will take place no doubt so that's why whenever saturn aspects whenever jupiter aspects venus so it may not be always marriage so married for married people it may be house purchase of house or purchase of vehicle or purchase of jewelry or any valuable things or luxury things okay right for female marriages how can we predict if transit jupiter aspects natal mars, mars, mars. female horoscope the female nato will get married that is fine okay so suppose mars is with ketu marriage may be delayed so delay of marriage we have to check i am giving only uh transiting planets when transiting planets saturn or jupiter aspects these planets what will happen so what about children for example the nato wife is pregnant or the female nato is pregnant so we have to check the date of delivery due date and then at that time at the time of delivery if transit jupiter is aspecting male planets sun jupiter mars the nato will get male project if transit jupiter aspects female planets mercury venus oh uh, sorry uh, venus moon, and moon, moon. female project suppose mercury saturn ketu these are unique uh, unique planets so here they are nasampaka graha so that's why if venus is with uh, suppose mercury is with venus and moon it is female and mercury is with sun jupiter and uh, mars then mercury become male yeah. so whether these nasampak graha so nasampak planets uh, unique planets are connected to male planets or female planets we have to see. okay so next uh, okay children now we can predict marriage and children and next one is here when do the nato get jobs when does saturn. the nato get jobs whenever jupiter. transit jupiter aspect saturn saturn natal saturn or transit saturn aspects natal jupiter the nato will get job okay when do the nato lose his job whenever transit ketu aspects natal saturn or transit saturn aspects natal ketu the nato will lose job but we have to check venus saturn is with connected with ketu or not and saturn is actually weak or not that is very important if saturn is weak so that means though saturn is exalted uh, in libra so second house there is ketu and in the seventh house there is mars and the moon is in the 12th house then though saturn is exalted it is uh, it is with the enemies so that is that's why saturn is considered to be weak here though it is though it is posited in libra exalted though it is exalted in libra so like this we have to check if transit ketu aspects weak saturn weak saturn then the native will lose his job suppose there is a strong saturn so saturn is with jupiter saturn is with uh, uh, venus and uh, mercury so saturn is uh, actually having jupiter in the second house venus is in the seventh house mercury in the uh, 12th house so then what will happen saturn is very strong so though ketu aspect saturn nothing will take place there may be some some sort of disturbances but that is not at all a problem but at the same time at the time there may be change change of friction may take place uh, whenever 
Ketu, transit Ketu, and transit more aspects of this combination. There may be change, no doubt, but the change will be promotion, he will be promoter. So, this is actually regarding profession. profession and when it comes to education, the students will ask, will I get, will I get through the examination or not? So, if transit Jupiter or transit Saturn aspects, natal Mercury, the native will pass the examination. Suppose natal Mercury is connected with the enemies Mars, Ketu, uh, Moon, then the native will pass only. He will pass, no doubt. But natal Mercury is conjoined with friends uh, here, Jupiter or Venus or Sun, Rahu. Then what will happen? The NATO will get ranks. So, like this, we have to predict. If transit Saturn or transit Jupiter aspects natal Mercury, which is conjoined with the French, Rahu, Venus, or Jupiter or Sun, the NATO will study very well and he will score highest marks, he will get good rank. So, similar in the similar way, business also, whenever transit Saturn aspects, whenever transit Jupiter aspects, natal Mercury, which is with the enemies, Moon, Mars, Ketu, the NATO will get only success, only get the, only he will get success one. Uh, he will, he will not get he will not get uh, ranks, but at the same time, if Mercury is conjoined with his friends, Venus, Sun, or Rahu, or Venus, definitely the the native will get uh, profits in his field. The native will get profits in his field. Like this, we have to tell. Suppose when do when do when does the native get losses incur losses in business? Whenever Ketu transit Ketu aspects Mercury Moon and Ketu, so Mercury is with the enemies in the horoscope, and transit Ketu is aspecting natal Mercury, natal Moon, and natal Ketu, which are conjoined together. So then the native those one and a half year he will get losses only. There will be no profits. So like this we have to predict business, success in business, failure, uh, profits and losses. We have to predict like this. And even for education also, ranks are only average pass marks. We have to predict. And uh, next, uh, purchase of house, vehicle and luxury. Whenever transit Saturn or transit Jupiter aspects natal Mer Venus, Venus, which is conjoined with Mercury or Rahu or Saturn uh, or Padma Yoga is formed there, then the native will purchase properties, house, vehicle and all this. Okay. So, when, when do... When does the native lose his properties? Whenever Ketu aspects, Venus Ketu, Venus Moon Ketu. Whenever transit Ketu aspects, natal Venus, which is conjoined with natal Ketu, natal Moon, the native will dispose his property. He will lose his property. Okay. So, like this, we have to predict about the properties and about job, about marriage, and about children. Next question, generally the people will ask, when will I go abroad? Whenever transit Jupiter aspects natal moon, which is conjoined either Rahu or Ketu, the native will go abroad. On which purpose the native can abroad? Whenever transit Jupiter aspects natal moon, which is conjoined with Mercury, Moon, Rahu, Mercury, Moon, Ketu, he will go for education. So, here Mercury is education. Suppose Saturn is there. Whenever 
transit Jupiter aspects natal Saturn, which is conjoined with Moon Rahu, Moon Ketu, the native will go abroad on a professional assignment. On a to make a living in abroad, to get a livelihood, livelihood in abroad in foreign country. He will go to foreign country. So, like this, we have to protect. And whenever the NATO gets accidents or ill health, whenever transit Rahu aspects natal Jupiter, the NATO will get accidents, Mars or transit. Whenever transit Rahu aspects natal Jupiter with Mars, which is conjoined with Mars or Rahu, so then the NATO will get accidents. If Jupiter is, if natal Jupiter is conjoined with Mars and Rahu, then the NATO will meet with accidents whenever transit Rahu aspects this combination. Or ill health, the NATO may get ill health. So, what type of ill health he will get? So, we have to check Jupiter is conjoined with which planet? If it is Sun, heart related. If it is Mars, so uh, blood and heart related. And moon is there if it is female breast, if it is male kapha related, if it is female garba dosha related. So, like this, we have to based on the combination of planets, we have to predict the native will get uh, which type of health problem the native will get. Okay. So, when does the native generally when will the native die? So, this is actually uh, we have to check through Jupiter round. So anyhow, the principle is only one, one principle. That is, if transit Rahu is aspecting natal Jupiter or transit Jupiter is aspecting natal Rahu, that is one combination. And second combination, if transit Saturn is aspecting natal Ketu or transit Ketu is aspecting natal Saturn, so here, these two things should happen only at a time. Then the native will die. So this generally this is female or male, sir. Yes, female or male. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to female, Jupiter is here, Jiva Lagna. And uh, so in a female horoscope, Venus. Venus is the female name. Venus is the female name. Whenever transit Rahu aspects Venus. And whenever transit Ketu aspects natal Saturn or transit Saturn aspects natal Ketu, the NATO will die. But in which round he will die, that is we have to check because every, so for example, every, every seven and a half year, uh, generally, you see one and a half year, generally Rahu will aspect a particular planet. Again, it will aspect, so after five years. Uh, after six years, because it will aspect the second house and the twelfth house, so like this. Uh, so twelfth house here is considered to be second house in anti-clockwise. So one five nine two six ten. So that is we have to check. Okay, like this we have to check these uh, predictions: health, wealth, prosperity, job, and marriage, children. So, you can predict anything with these four planets, but these are not accurately uh, like month and day, we cannot predict, only year plans. So, these are year prediction. What is going to happen this particular year? How can we predict based on Jupiter, based on Saturn, based on Rahu, Ketu? We can predict year prediction. So far, whatever we have discussed is year prediction. So, in a particular year, for example, the NATO gets, uh, in a particular year, the NATO gets a marriage. In, in which month the NATO will get married? That is, we have to check. And on which day there is a possibility to get married? That is, we have to check. So, like this, uh, now these four planets denote year prediction. And from now onwards, for in our next class, we will discuss monthly planets. So, monthly planets are Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars.
and day planet is only moon moon is to end of days it will stay in a half so based on moon what is going to happen today we can discuss and based on monthly planets what what is going to happen this month and based on year year planets we can predict what is going to happen this year so like this we have to check all nine planet transits then we can predict accurately so now what is going to happen this year we, you can easily predict this year the native will get marriage or not the native will get the property or not the native will get job or not or he will lose job or not uh, he will uh, go abroad or not so he will pass the exam or not he will get profits or not so he will get any health problem so like this you can predict now 100% you can you can predict everything okay. so when it comes to year prediction so year prediction means what happened what is going to happen this year and what is going to happen next year and what what happened in the previous year and two years ago what happened so like this we have to go back we have to move forward with the same plan planetary combination okay so for example you you take saturn so saturn is aspecting for example uh, saturn is uh, uh, now saturn is actually in capricorn okay so for example your ketu in your horoscope your ketu is actually your ketu and moon are in sagittarius for example then you can predict that two years back you might have lost your job am i right or not so like this we have to predict past events okay because two years ago where was saturn saturn so, was sure. in sagittarius that's why whenever transit saturn was uh, uh, transit saturn aspects ketu and moon then what will happen there will be change of profession the netu may lose his job so definitely he must have lost his job two years ago that's why so this you can predict like this suppose the same ketu and moon for example in your horoscope scorpio in the scorpio so in your horoscope moon and ketu are posited in scorpio then how could you predict your past events so saturn was in uh, scorpio when five years four years back four years back four years back so you can predict that so you can take the duration so two and a half years for example years. for example it is 15 to 18 like that you take the duration so in 2015 2018 for example in between these years you might have lost your job am i right then he will be surprised yes sir i lost my job okay so like this past events we can predict so suppose saturn ketu and moon are for example saturn ketu moon these three planets are in uh, for example virgo so you go back so 2009 november to 2011 november i think around so it will be virgo for example saturn might be in virgo whenever saturn transit saturn was in virgo last time it was 2009 to 2011 in between this year so you can predict that you must have lost your job in between 2012 Uh, sorry uh, so that is uh, oh, yeah 2000 uh, 2011 uh, uh, 2010 you can say because 2009 to 2011 we are telling so i think you might have lost around 2010 you might have lost your job or you might have changed your job am i right or not so like this we have to go back and in the future what is going to happen for example now your jupiter is in for example pisces so how long it how long will saturn take uh, take time so here uh, how long it will take uh, to move over to pisces 
it will take another two years after two years where will saturn be saturn will be in pisces so in your horoscope what is there in in pisces jupiter jupiter so you can predict that after two years you will get professional stability and you will get promotion if the nato does not have job okay suppose right now the nato does not have job so he is asking will i get job this year so then we have to check with jupiter jupiter is aspecting saturn normal for example in your horoscope saturn is positive in pisces so transit jupiter is where now it is in kumbharashi so after this november 28th jupiter will go to pisces when jupiter goes to pisces where your natal saturn is posited so you will get job so when the duration is up to 2023 april so the duration will be around 5 months so during those 5 months the nato will get job so like this we have to predict future and we have to predict past okay sir every time i'm getting a doubt with the saturn ketu combination only sir yeah. suppose uh, like the way you said uh, say saturn and ketu natal saturn and ketu are in pisces yes presently jupiter is in pisces yeah saturn is aspecting yeah no problem so jupiter is friend to ketu and jupiter is friend to saturn what is there Jupiter. No, uh, yeah, I am talking about the job, sir. So how to? Uh, yeah, suffer? the NATO will get. Uh, uh, there will be change, and he will get uh, job, no doubt. Ketu does not give any di- disturbance because Jupiter is friend, friend to. No, no, Saturn and Ketu, sir. Saturn and Ketu. That is what I am telling. Jupiter transit. Jupiter is transiting over Saturn and Ketu. Yeah. There, there will be no problem. So, okay yes yeah. saturn is aspecting uh, saturn and ketu no sir if saturn aspects only ketu that there will be disturbance okay now but, once it goes to aquarius uh, uh, there will not be any problem yes you are right so now where is saturn actually saturn is in capricorn capricorn so mm-hmm. when it goes to uh, aquarius there will be no problem if ketu is in aquarius then there will be problem okay If Ketu is in Pisces, after two years there will be problem. Mm. If Ketu is in uh, Aries, for example, after four years. If mm. Ketu is in, for example, in uh, uh, right now uh, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, now the NATO might have lost his uh, job because uh, from from Capricorn it is aspecting uh, Ketu. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's one right. one by nine aspect. Mm. So like this, we have to rotate. Mm. Saturn and Jupiter, so that we can predict when auspicious things happen, will happen, and uh, are happened in the past. Suppose enemy planets they are aspecting. Suppose Saturn, not uh, Jupiter. If Saturn aspects friendly planets, auspicious things we have to predict. If Saturn aspects enemy planets, we have to predict inauspicious things. Okay. Hmm. So like this. only through these four transits you can predict now anything so but not exactly in which month which day you cannot predict so mm-hmm. last year what happened before last year what happened so that will be enough last year you uh, last year you might have lost your job that is great if you predict mm-hmm. so particularly this month you lost your job you need not predict okay so two years ago you lost your job that is enough that statement is enough you need not go into deep details of oh, that particular month you lost whether he got lost or not that is past mm-hmm. so past thing is uh, not in detail you need not predict. particular month the particular day you need not predict so last year you lost last year you got job suppose uh, jupiter is uh, uh, in capricorn so saturn is now in a transit saturn is on natal jupiter for example so last year you got the job and jupiter is in uh, for example uh, aquarius yeah after uh, january you will get uh, definitely uh, you will get job 
after february you will get that because transit uh, saturn will go to uh, aquarius after january like this we have to predict so okay so mm -hmm. next uh, we will continue monthly planets also so after after completing monthly and day planet we can go for example you you will understand we need not uh, discuss uh, you will understand things very well you can check your horoscopes also okay good day mm -hmm. thank you sir